What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'm going to talk about Warzone and how a lot of the community is really wanting changes kind of brought to the map within Warzone. Uh, Warzone came out in early March. Of course, we are now into early July and a lot of people were hoping we would see changes uh, to the map just kind of in general. Uh, not really a whole lot has changed within the map. Uh, there's been a few, of course, secret Easter eggs, things like that, the, uh, the bunkers, all that kind of stuff, but nothing has really changed the map in general. There has been a lot of speculation season after season the map would actually be updated that, of course, you know, a lot of people, including myself, thought the bunkers would have something to do with that map change. None of that has really come to light yet. Uh, and there's another big rumor right now going around that season five, the map will see significant changes. Of course, you always can take that with a grain of salt, because as you can see, all the rumors in the past have kind of led to nothing so far. And I think a lot of people were really hoping uh, when Infinity Ward came out and said this was going to be kind of a, a ever-changing game, I guess, always kind of adapting, always kind of changing from season to season, from week to week, from month to month, and for year to year, as long as they're talking about leaving this game as you know, kind of the, the main battle royale for Call of Duty, I think a lot of people were hoping... Not necessarily, maybe not exactly like Fortnite style events, but even Infinity Ward themselves even kind of mentioned that they wanted to have Fortnite style events in game and then kind of backtracked on exactly what they meant by that. But I think a lot of people in general were hoping that they would change the map, kind of like Fortnite changes the map. I think that's one thing that's kept Fortnite kind of going as long as it has, is a lot of people really enjoy that uh, map change, that map, you know, differences within the map from the day, first day they started playing until today's date. Uh, I think Infinity Ward is probably eventually going to do something like that. I'm not sure how they're going to do it now, really, with them talking about how they're going to implement each and every Call of Duty title into Warzone. Nobody's really sure how long Warzone's going to last. Or is Call of Duty ever going to make another Battle Royale, or will Warzone always be that Battle Royale game? And each and every year, kind of like they talked about, it will just kind of adapt to the game that is out. Now, we really don't have any info about a whole lot of info, of info about of Call of Duty 2020, which is supposedly going to be Call of Duty Cold War. Uh, and I think everybody's kind of in agreement now that that is going to be the game. But a lot of people were kind of speculating for a while that Treyarch was still going to make their own Battle Royale, another kind of Blackout, uh, like Blackout 2. And then a lot of people have said, no, uh, they're going to kind of just implement the new Call of Duty game into Warzone and kind of change Warzone for each individual game. And Activision has... And Infinity Ward has stated that's what they want to do. So are we not going to are we not going to be able to see a lot of map changes, uh, but like kind of like once a year, maybe twice a year kind of thing, or are they going to start you know doing more and more to change the map as it gets closer to time for the next game to release? I'm kind of curious what your guys' thoughts are. I'm kind of curious. Do you want to see the map adapt to each game, or would you like to see the map adapt more before I get you know another Call of Duty title is released? Are you happy with Warzone staying the kind of constant battle royale for Call of Duty, or would you like to see something different with each uh, varying game? Maybe not every single game, but every couple years. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. And all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.